Sometimes mothers are asked, oh, um, could you drop me at the mall? Uh, my friends and I are gonna just meet up at the mall and maybe come back later. So the mother innocently thinks, oh, sure, you wanna meet your friends? Okay, I'll give you a couple hours, I'll be back. Unbeknownst to that mom a lot of times, a girl is not meeting her girlfriends. There's a guy that's interested in her, but she knows her mom might be uncomfortable with her seeing him, so she meets him at the mall. So you think, well, how can that be bad? Well, they're walking around talking to each other, and here comes the law of diminishing returns. They're walking around talking, and after a little while, there's a moment when they're walking, he actually touches her hand. And when he touches her hand, as though to gesture to hold it, she almost has a heart attack. It's like so thrilling, it's like an adrenaline rush straight up her arm. Now you might be thinking as a teenager, oh, no big thrill having my hand held. Well, obviously it has been held yet by someone you like because with the law of diminishing return, the first time someone you're interested in touches your body, whether it's through holding hands or maybe like an arm around your shoulder for a moment, it has chemistry, electrical charge, inevitable for all, Christian, non-Christian, everybody gets the same zap. But watch what happens. A couple weeks later, this young man says, do you think you can meet me at the mall again? Because neither one of you can drive, so where are you gonna go? So, of course you're dating too early anyways, you can't drive. Anyways, they say to meet at the mall again. Well, they're so excited, she gets there, she sees him, and he doesn't wait a couple minutes. He immediately takes her hand. But when he takes her hand, the young woman actually looks down and thinks, what happened? Where did that electrical shock that ran up my arm, where'd it go? The excitement of that first touch is not there. 